again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 25th of January, 2019. Article on Politico. You definitely want to have a look at it. Uh, written by Nolan D. McCaskill. That's M C C A S K I L L. Bloomberg rips Trump. Totally incompetent. The former New York mayor and potential 2020 contender touts his credentials for President Trump in a hard-hitting speech. Michael Bloomberg came to Virginia on Friday to deliver a message to Democrats. I told you so. The former New York City mayor delivered his most scathing remarks about Trump since he called then-candidate Donald Trump a dangerous demagogue and knocked his business credentials in a speech at the 2016 Democratic National Convention. I said then that he was just not suited, Bloomberg said Friday morning in a speech at the Democratic Business Council in Northern Virginia event. He did not have the skills, the temperament, the work ethics to be President of the United States. And, and, and Obama did have those, right? Yeah. Though both are New York billionaires, Bloomberg said he knew Trump in their former lives only as casually through interactions at ceremonial events. He assailed a former real estate mogul for what he called a complete failure of presidential leadership and totally incompetent management, as some federal agencies remain shuttered amid the longest government shutdown in U.S. history. The government has been partially shut down for more than a month as Trump and Democrats spar over billions of dollars for his border wall. The whole episode really is cynical, political stunt, and unfortunately we're the ones paying the price, Bloomberg said. You've gotten exactly what I described. This is a person who should not be the President of the United States, and I think we have to get serious. He is way in over his head. Bloomberg dismissed America's executive in chief as a real estate promoter who has never run a large organization before and lost big on a bunch of bets after inheriting his fortune from his father. And as he continues to mull whether he will seek the Democratic nomination for president, Bloomberg tutted his credentials for the job. We've got to do something to make sure we get somebody different than the White House two years from now. And I'm committed to do that, he said. This is about competence, or lack of it. The presidency is not an entry-level job, and the longer we have a pretend CEO who is relentlessly running this country, the worse it's going to be for our economy and our security. This is really dangerous. He likened Trump and his administration to a horror movie, but instead of Freddy Krueger in The Nightmare on Elm Street, we've got Donald Trump in The Nightmare on 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. He also advised voters to reject Trump in the next election in terms he understands. You're fired. He asked the attendees who was in the room who would hire Trump to run their business and noted that in the private sector, business have boards that try to help leaders before taking a more severe step. If you can't help them, you move them out. You fire them, he said. And so that's what's got to do. And for the two years, a number of horrible people have tried to help the president. Correction, a number of honorable people have tried to help the president only to leave in frustration. Yeah, they were all part of Obama's inner circle. The antidote to Trump and the gridlock in Washington, Bloomberg suggested, is a pragmatic, experienced executive who can reach across the aisle. Yeah, Camelia Harris, huh? <laughs> he acknowledged his own qualifications, which largely stems from his 12 years in City Hall. An executive role, he said, involved foreign policy and international affairs as the site of the September 11 terror attack in a city with the largest number of embassies in the nation. Well, we're going to learn more about the September 11 terror attack once that uh, grand jury gets seated. We've got to make sure that we offer real alternatives for 2020, candidates that can do the work, that have training, have experience in delivering services rather than just going to rallies 
and giving speeches. The people that know how to manage, he said, these jobs, whether it's president or governor or mayor, those are executive jobs. And we've got to make sure we put up candidates that can do it. Again, like Camelia Harris. How about Maxine Waters? Huh? <laughs> he joked about his rationale from visiting earlier states. Going to Iowa because of climate change and New Hampshire because he has a home there. But acknowledge that he's thinking about taking a shot at the White House. It would be great to be President of the United States, but you got to take a look at comparing that to what you can do in the private sector, he said. You got to take a look at the possibilities of getting elected. You got to look at your family and your private life and your company that gets disrupted and changed around. And I've got a pretty good life. Having said that, I don't like walking away from challenges. Representative Gary Connell, Democrat Virginia, who attended the breakfast, told Politico he was struck by Bloomberg's matter of fact observation and would like to see him run to expand the party's choices. Quote, I think he brings enormous credentials and experience and authority to a possible presidential run, said Conley. The real question, though, is, given short of where a party has shifted, is that something that can excite the base? And can he inspire with that managerial first approach? You know, I mean, like I said, Donald's biggest problem is that he doesn't know how to pick people. But that's also a key requirement for people in that kind of a position, don't you think? He wouldn't be in the quagmire that he's in if he did what, folks? If he tuned in to what, folks? If he tuned in to ZolnerReport.com. I'll attach the link. Thanks for listening. You might want to send a copy to President Trump. <laughs>